in today's video we're going to look into database uh, specifically on PHP and MySQL database using a web hosting so the web hosting that I'm using here is from Jum hosting so for those who are familiar with a, uh, with the hosting um, some of the hosting they use cPanel so the example that I'm going to use is through cPanel um, so Jum hosting you can log in you can access uh, through jumhosting.net and you can log in so of course you need to register um, with the gym hosting to use their services um, so since our, I'm not going to cover um, for gym hosting registration for or for any um, other hosting services um, so I'm just going to use my hosting log into your hosting and access to the service and here you can click on your product services so this is a quick shortcut for you to access so for example if you just want to use um, MySQL, phpMyAdmin, file manager this is basically more than enough um, requirement um, for you to to use to, to start use your app your your application uh, to develop application for for example uh, using Android Studio or using Flutter or any other uh, mobile application development using PHP MySQL. All right, so in this case, I'm going to create new database. So I'm going to straight away access to my cPanel. You can go and go ahead and click on cPanel. So this is a typical cPanel interface. So the, the most used component for this is file manager and databases. So if you like to create new database, um, you, you, you cannot do it through phpMyAdmin. You need to access either through MySQL database wizard or you can create manually through MySQL databases. So let's say we create database through database wizard. So this is just to make your development easier. Everything and the steps taken needed uh, for database uh, your database to work is here. So go ahead and create MySQL database. So the first thing that you need to do is to create a database. Okay, to create a database, for example, let me create uh, for one application. Um, let's say I want to create a um, database uh, application for um uh, let's say one application um so let's say i want to create a application for let's say my taxi All right so i'm going to give the database name my taxi so it is a good idea to keep information so you can use your notepad to store your database name so for example the database name is db name call slumber6 underscore my taxi so go to next step all right so here you need to create you need to create database user so the user or the admin for the database um, so this is by default so don't uh, if this is your own hosting you might have a different um, username start here okay so the the username that you need to 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 use to insert is here so for example my taxi admin so you're going to need to db user equal slumber6 my taxi admin so the password here you can auto generate so let me use auto generate password generate password generate password generate password generate password so let's say i'm going to take this password copy okay, use password so again you need to make sure the username here is my taxi admin all right so I oh, forgot to copy the password so generate password again generate 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 
take this password use this password so copy your password here db password put it there and again make sure your database user is correctly defined and create user so here just to make things easier allow all privileges next step so now this is your database all right so should be okay now return to mysql database or you can return home all right, so this is okay now we can go back so here you can go to php my admin you should be able to see your database ready Okay, so the database is my taxi here and of course there's nothing inside here there's no table this you need to create on your own either you want to have table for user you have table for driver and payment whatever it is inside here i'm not going to cover that um, so the next step from database creation is for the database access all right so done with the database you need to make sure you, your application can access your database so for that you need to go to your file manager and your public html you need to create your application directory so let's say for example i'm going to create my directory here my taxi create folder all right so this is my taxi folder that for the application so the first thing that i always do is to create a database connector all right, so the database connector, I'm going to use one example here, which is DB Connect. So I'm going to edit. I'm going to take all this, all the codes. I'm going to go back to my taxi. So here I'm going to create a new file called DB connect.php so this is my database connector create so edit this file paste the code so this is where you change all the information for your application so for example now the server name is localhost don't change this username take your user put it there and then for database name take that take this change the database name and finally database password and change for the password all right save just to test the connection we put our statement here echo back success all right so, so this will return success if the connection is okay so how to test you can go to to your domain call my taxi slash db connect.php press enter so if written success means that now you have a successful database connection or database connector that connect to this database so every time you want to perform at delete update search or any crude php database operation you can call this file or you can import this file into your php uh, so once this is okay you you need to make sure to remove this all right so that's it